Hi, I'm Ryan Roldan. I'm a graduate student of Our Lady of Fatima University, taking up Doctor of Public Health with specialization in health management. Today, I would like to present to you the COVID-19 health education and promotion strategies for children, an integrative review. Since the COVID-19 hit the world, people's health and quality of life were severely compromised. And the impact of this global outbreak affected every sector of society, including children. There are several studies claim that COVID-19 cases in children are lower than in adults. However, it is proven to be contagious in children of all ages, and they are also at risk of severe disease manifestations. One of the primary preventive tactics to avert an outbreak and pandemic's catastrophic effect is health education and promotion. Children must learn about disease infection, the health consequences, and the significance of health preventive measures among vulnerable population. However, most of the health campaigns that public health experts created are designed primarily for the general population. And this could be a potential issue since children have a different way of learning and understanding concepts than adults. And it's critical not to overlook this age group because everyone is at risk of contracting this little virus. That is why this study intends to examine the existing health ed education and promotion approach during the COVID-19 pandemic that is designed explicitly for children and identify the most suitable method. The scientific literature and research presented in this study were obtained in the online databases of PubMed and Science Direct. It is between January 2020 and May 2021. The combination of keywords and medical subject headings were also used, and that includes COVID-19, child, and health education. The research results were saved and uploaded to Covidence, which is a primary screening and data extraction tool for standard intervention reviews. A total of 69 articles were identified and important to Covidence for screening. The authors identified 12 articles that met the criteria for inclusion and appraised using MMAT tool for research studies and AACOGS checklist for reviewing non-research studies. Based on the results, social media is the most commonly used platform in promoting COVID-19 information among children. This includes Facebook, YouTube, WhatsApp, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. There are also four themes emerged as health education and promotion approaches that apply to children. This includes number one, content development. The content of health education and promotion resource materials on COVID-19 for children must be accessible, it should be appealing, legible, and simple to understand. Number two, information delivery. The delivery of information must be precise and reliable and should promote interaction among children because they prefer to learn interactively. Parents also play a vital role in diluting and filtering the information shared with their children to provide an actual accurate explanation to minimize anxiety. Number three is behavior modification. To modify their behavior, creating a structured and supportive environment can create opportunities for children to practice the desired behavior. This should be, uh, there, there should be a gradual exposure, shaping, and repetition of an activity to increase learning probability and also to enable the children to modify protected behavior. And lastly, information support network. This include key organizations supporting health promotion campaigns through evidence-based information delivered in a friendly, developmentally appropriate, and accessible format. With health education and promotion strategies identified in this study, health educators and practitioners can use these strategies to strengthen the existing COVID-19 health initiatives and campaigns specifically for children. So to conclude, individuals, families, communities, and society has a vital role in influencing children's knowledge and health behaviors. Overall, this study suggests a positive recommendation in using social media platforms combined with the identified health education and promotion approaches in providing critical information on the disease and promoting health and positive behavior for children on COVID-19 pandemic. 
Future studies may explore various health education and promotion strategies to validate its implication. And the finding of this study can be utilized to develop a direction for future research on epidemic-related health education and promotion for children. Thank you very much.